after seeing such a, a great effort just to turn on the bounce of the puck? Yeah, it's like I told them, it's a game of inches. And, uh, you know, we have plenty of opportunities to, you know, I keep saying it's like a broken record. We won't shoot the puck. You know, we had the puck the whole second period. I don't know if we had eight shots. We don't shoot it. A team that doesn't score a lot of goals, we've got to shoot pucks. Like, they take two shots from the blue line, C and I shots that go through a pile of people. You know, one's a pass out to a pile of people. Uh, uh, basically, just threw it to the slot and... You know, I don't know how you say the kid's name. The young kid scores the goal, Poitras, whatever his name is. And the second one is the wrist shot from the blue line. Like, what, what else do you need to know with our group? Like, we, we want to tee it up and pass the puck laterally in the home plate. It's, it's getting old. I still saw a lot of shooting. I still think it's more, not enough shooting, too much passing. Yeah, we don't, we don't shoot it. Like, again, I don't know. i share any house secrets here. I mean, you get 40 shots on net, you're probably going to get four goals. I mean, if a goalie's got a 90 save percentage and you get 40 on net, you're probably going to score a lot of goals. We, you know, we could probably have 35 plus shots a game on net. The Vegas game, probably not. The other ones we could have, and we just won't shoot it. I don't understand it. Is it too much of a mindset of looking for the perfect shot? I don't trying know. Trying to change I, that. I have yeah. no idea. No, I don't, I don't ask them. Uh -huh. We just tell them to shoot the puck. I mean... Right. When you don't score goals, you're usually the the reflexes shoot the puck and then drive the net for rebounds. And that's what the goal was. Mm -hmm. It was a shot on net, and uh, Mc, Mc, I think it was Mac got the rebound. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, you you saw the second period. How many times we had the puck in home plate? Wouldn't shoot it. Pass it off to the side. Actually, pass it to a worse angle to score a goal. So is that that element keeping you guys from being dangerous? Because you see where there's other areas where you where you can be dangerous offensively um, just in, in terms of the creation of plays and the puck possession like tonight and well there's a, they, they have these heat maps from analytics right mm -hmm. the, the hurricane when it's in the other team's net with the red eye and then the front of the other team's goal those teams score goals mm -hmm. right so I don't care what what you're using to get to those spots but if you have high shot volume mentality and you put people to those areas the analytics and the scoring chances will show you unequivocally that you're going to score goals in those areas. We're actually in the areas, and then we pass them out of the area. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, why we, we prefer to pass than shoot. But, you know, even at the end there, we had a couple. We had some rebounds. I think Zegers almost had an open net right before the uh, we called the timeout. I don't know if it got on the wrong side of his stick. But we've, we, at this point, you know, it's 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 got to be like, a value system. We're just going to shoot pucks. I don't care if they're from the goal line. Just put them at the goalie's pads. What do you think of the defensive play? I mean, it pretty, you're playing against a remarkably yeah. good I mean, team. Before they scored their goal, it was shot like 25 to 18. And again, we could have had 35 shots, but we played well. You know, we played well. So, but you can't keep saying that. You know, he's saying that every game we play well. It could have beat Dallas, could have beat this team, could have beat that. Score goals. Can't win games scoring one goal a game. It felt like a pretty even game after two periods, and then you guys got the goal from McTavish, and then they come back with two quick ones. Was, did you feel like maybe they kind of caught you guys on your heels a little bit, or what was kind of what caught us on our that? heels from what though? I'm not trying to be. A, I mean, we we just playing a hockey game. There's two Bing Bing plays that go in the net. And there was no heels, no toes. We're just playing hockey. Uh, uh, we were just talking to Stromer, and he was talking about uh, pace, structure, those sorts of things, improving quite a bit, that being a lot of the emphasis in uh, camp. Just kind of on the on the positive side of things, just watching the team last year to this year, it's palpable, and the guys in the room have said it. Are you satisfied with that, or are you more, more focused on developing the shot mentality? That like, so the, the process, you know, includes culture creation, like creating standards, expectations, starts with compete, you know, how hard guys work. You know, we know going into the season that we're not going to have a handful of aces and kings, so we got to play our cards right, but it's always got to be driven by work, right? So we've demonstrated that every game, right? I can't fault our team for their compete level. They're working their tails off. And so then you talk about the execution. So most of the time, 75% of the time, we're executing. We're getting pucks back on the floor check. You know, we're, we're creating cycle chances. We're defending well. I mean, we only gave up five even strength goals until tonight. We got they gave we gave up two, and the other one's an empty netter. So we're doing well defensively. So that's being executed. So we got to amp up our special teams. Our penalty kill was really good tonight against a really good power play. 
and our power play is like one for whatever it is at this point. So we got to find a way to generate goals from that. So it's a process. And going back to your question about, you know, shooting pucks, well, that's going to have to be a layer that we're going to have to, again, I, I talk about creating value systems. So we got to do that.